Hello, this is Jeff White with FriendsHangout.com, a.k.a. Mr. Bodine. I'd like to take a few minutes to go through how to use our virtual worlds and how to navigate through them. Now, when you go to the 3D Worlds link, the first thing it'll do is check to see if you have the Unity plugin installed in your browser. If not, it will ask you to install that, which is required for Friends Hangout. This is similar to Flash, but it's designed for 3D specifically. So it allows us to create these amazing graphics that play right inside a browser. Once you've done that, you'll see three buttons at the bottom. Log in, register, and enter as guest. If you are a member, just click the Log In button. And it'll let you write in. And it will store the information for you. Uh, you can also register as a new member, and it is free to join, or you can enter as a guest. We'll go in as a guest for now. First, it'll ask you for your gender. We'll select male, and that automatically chooses a default avatar for you. You can use any of our custom avatars that are in our avatars link. Or you can go to Evolver.com and create your own avatar that can be transported into Friends Hangout. Once it comes up to the main menu, you'll see these various domes that have different virtual worlds inside them. Just by clicking on them, they'll rotate around the sphere in the middle. And you'll see two buttons in the front. The first one is an info button, which gives you a little description about the world and shows you a screenshot. There's also a play button. Just click that and it'll load the world. Before we do that, let's look at the buttons on the bottom toolbar. The first one is the avatar button. By selecting this, it'll let you change the avatar you currently have. It will show you a list of avatars to choose from. Once the avatar loads up in the middle here, It'll show you a list on the left-hand side. You can scroll through and just select which one you'd like to use. And now that's saved. And it loads up our new avatar that we'll be using. Now we'll go to the main menu and go over some of the other buttons that we have here. The first is the chat button. Each world has its own chat room. This is the lobby, but each of the worlds also has a room set aside for it. To activate it, just press the return key and type. Press return and that sends the message so everyone else can read it. Again, to activate it, press return, type, press return, closes. This allows you to still use your keyboard shortcuts throughout the program. The next button is the login and join. Now, if you are a member already, this would be a log out button. But as a guest, it gives you the option to do that from here. Next is information. This is basically a list of keyboard shortcuts and mouse controls uh, through the various worlds and friends hangout. The next is tokens. Now, tokens are used to create your own virtual worlds. And simply by going into the world, you earn tokens. But anything you do on Friends Hangout earns you tokens. Leave messages to other uh, users, become friends with other members, uh, pretty much anything. You can also buy tokens by clicking the Buy Tokens link. From there, you can use PayPal, uh, use your mobile phone. We also have surveys that can be filled out by different advertisers, many different options. But again, a lot of the stuff you can do just by playing the game. The next is game options. This basically controls the volume and also the graphic quality. By default, it's set at a little lower than normal, but you can adjust this depending on how good your machine is, your graphics card on your computer. And of course, the higher, the better quality the images will be. But a lot of times that will lower the frame rate of how fast it can play that information back. Normally you want to be somewhere between 20 and 30 frames per second. That's always displayed here in the corner. So as long as you're around that number, you should be good to go. If you do a lot of multitasking on your machine, where you run other programs at the same time, you might want to cap the frame rate 
So this tells it not to use over the 30, just to stick with that. So it lets you do more stuff in the background. Next is the screenshot photo button. When you click this, you have to be a member, but this will save whatever's on the screen. So if you see a real nice shot, you hit that and it'll save it into your in-game photos folder on your members profile page. Next is our game room. We haven't got this quite done yet, but it is coming soon. And it'll work the same way. It just lets you go into the game room instead of the virtual worlds themselves. Next button is the documents. Pretty much what we're going over here. But it just tells you what each of the buttons do. And last is the credits. Let you know who actually made Friends Hangout. Gives you a brief description of their background and what they did for us here. Now that covers pretty much everything on the main screen. We also have a button up over here in the corner on the top right. This is a full screen mode. If your computer can handle it, we recommend you go into full screen mode. The quality is much better, easier to see, but try it and see what kind of frame rates you get. Now like I said, to go into a different virtual world, all you have to do is click on the play button. So select which world you want to go and hit that button. Your avatar will load up on one of our flying domes. You can move your mouse back and forth to control them. And it will go to the main scene, do a fly through to kind of give you an idea of what the entire world looks like. And we'll load music. We've got the music muted for this, but this is using a keyboard shortcut. You can hit the M key and you can hear it playing the music. Hit the M key and it cuts it off. Now you'll notice a few buttons have changed down here. The main menu, this takes you back to the rotating domes. Jet window is the same. But now you see that we have other people in here. We're now in the island paradise. The next button is the vehicle button. Each world will eventually have its own set of vehicles that can be used besides just walking around. For example, in this one, you can actually go into the water and be on a jet ski. We'll do that in just a minute. Info is the same. Pause is a little different. You click this, and this will remember where you are in a particular virtual world. So if you're going from world to world and something comes up and you want to remember where you were, you hit that, and the next time you log in, it will take you back to that exact same spot. Next button is the Add to Favorites. Now, at the time of this writing, we have over 10,000 virtual worlds that have been created by our members. A lot to keep track of. What this does, if you go to a particular world that you really enjoyed, click that and it'll add it to a favorites list, just like um, you know a browser bookmark. Again, options and photos. And then we have emotes. Now, emotes are a list of animations that your avatar will play. You click wave, point, you can dance. And these can also be controlled with keyboard shortcuts, the one through zero keys. So just by hitting one of them, it'll do that. Next is the games that will be set for that particular room. And the next is transport. This shows you various locations on the particular virtual world that you're in and lets you jump very quickly from one spot to another. This comes in real handy when you've got a really large world to go through. Now as far as controls, it's like most games, you can use the WASD key or the arrow keys to move around. Uh, move forward, move backwards, turn left, turn right. You can also control how fast you're moving. By default you're walking, if you toggle the shift key, you start to run. And you can also hit the control key, which is automatic, which means you don't have to hold a key and it keeps you moving forward. 
Now the mouse control gives you other options for moving the camera around. When you hold the right mouse button down, it actually steers your avatar in different directions. You can move up and down and it controls the camera. And with the left mouse button, you can rotate around your avatar in any direction. The wheel on your mouse will let you zoom in and out. We've got it set you can actually zoom out quite a bit to see more of the world that you're in. And if you zoom all the way in, it actually goes into first person mode. For those that don't have a wheel on your mouse, you can actually use the Z and X key. And this will do the same thing, just let you zoom in and out. So if we wanted to set to run, we could be moving our camera around. We could be recording videos, doing machinima, all kind of cool things. As I mentioned earlier, we do have various vehicles. And as you can see, we're out on the water. We just walked into it. Normally, you'll have to push the button, but for the island paradise, we made it simple. Now, it is playing uh, the sound effects, but let's turn the music off because that's kind of loud. And you can hear that the uh, motor engine's going. You can jump the ramps, try to gather some tokens. You get close, you even get splashes of water on the screen. Dolphins will jump over. And you can turn the sounds off anytime you want. Now I'd like to go to one other world real quick. Those are pretty much all the controls that you'll need to learn. But sometimes we might have vehicles where you fly. So let's go to our Dragon's Den and we'll show you how to control the dragon. Again, as you fly through, just move your mouse. Loads the next scene, then it'll show your fly through give you an overall view of what that particular world looks like. All right. Now in this time, we'll use the vehicle button. When you click that, it'll bring up a list of the various dragons that you can select from. So we'll select the dragon we want and use the W an S key to move up and down. A and D still move you sideways. But the shift actually makes you go forward. So if we go up in the air, then we hold the shift key down, we start to fly. And again, you can control it with your mouse or with your keys, whichever feels most comfortable. You can still do it in a continuous mode. You can actually fly around your dragon. Get some very cool views up here. You can also press the space bar if you'd like to shoot fire from the dragon. And to exit back to your avatar, simply click the vehicle button one more time. One other thing we have is trivia buttons. When you click this, depending on the world, it'll ask you a number of trivia questions. And for each one that you get right, you earn tokens. And as you see, it's gathered up tokens. So now when I exit the scene, it will save that. Well, that's it for now. I hope the video explained a little bit better how to use Friends Hangout. Uh, be sure to also see our tutorial on how to create your own virtual world. Bye for now.